Hello everyone and welcome to the Right on Air channel. Today we're gonna be soft modding this lovely Wii console to be able to play games of its memory card, um, the SD memory card. The whole process is done basically in three steps. Um, the first step is uh, installing the homebrew channel, which is basically jailbreaking the system in a way. The second step is um, installing a game loader along with the custom iOS's that it needs. And the third step is copying the game backups onto an SD card to be able to play them on the Wii. So without any further ado, let's dig into it. And a bit of advice before we start. So if you're planning to do these steps um, on your console, I really advise to watch the whole video before you start because we face few issues along the way um, and we solve them. And I kept them in the video because I think they are very helpful for you guys to troubleshoot if you face similar or, you know, same or similar problem. Okay, so before we start the installation, we need to prep the Wii to make sure it's ready. Um, the first thing to do is to uh, make sure the date and time are set correctly because we need those in the uh, installing the home brew. So just go there, make sure the date and time are set correctly. Um, next, we want to make sure that we'll also connect it to the internet because we're going to need this for installing the custom iOS's. Um, so just go to the wireless connection, set it up. If it's not set, just make sure that you do a connection test and it's a successful connection test. No need to update. Um, the last thing we need is basically two information that um, is needed in the gel, um, the installing the homebrew. The first one is the system version, and uh, just make sure to take note of the letter afterwards. Uh, after the version, it's for me, it's you. Just make sure to write them down. The other thing we want to get is the MAC address, which you can get from the console information. Also, keep that with you because we're gonna need them both of those to actually uh, for the soft modding or installing the homebrew channel. With that information, we need to visit a website called pleasehackme.com, which is basically where we're gonna get the installation for the homebrew channel. First part is the system. Just choose the right system for your console. Um, then enter the MAC address. Um, after you fill in the MAC address, go ahead and make sure you check the bundle. Uh, the thing, the installer for me and um, you know just the rest of it and press got the red wire of course it doesn't matter which bottom you press they both work the same after the download finishes just extract all the contents to a freshly formatted SD card whatever SD card you have just make sure that's formatted as a FAT32 um, the size doesn't matter, you can use something less than one gigabyte. Um, just extra extract it to the drive, it should look something like this. And after starting the Wii with the memory card inserted in it, just go to messages, go back one day and you should find this message which has a, like a red bomb, click on it. And you see, see this black screen, which is the screen for the homebrew installer. You will get this warning saying that you shouldn't have been pay or paid for this software. It takes a time for it to go away. Don't panic. It's, I think, by design. Then you'll get this message to press 1 to continue. When you press it, it will also take a little bit of time because remember it's loading from an SD card and loading from SD cards are slow on the Wii. Um, after a while, it will uh, move forward to get to the screen. Here is basically telling you what's there. Just press continue. Um, it says that it can be installed. Um, don't worry about boot me. Um, in the screen, just go to install home brew channel and press yes to continue. It will start installing. It shouldn't take a lot of time. Um, then click continue and then go to exit and forget about the logs it doesn't really matter press exit again you won't see anything um, because you don't have any apps but basically this is the homebrew channel um, installed in your system you can basically uh, press the home button and exit to the system menu 
where you'll also find the homebrew channel um, shortcut or forwarder basically this is what's called on, uh, on the Wii on the home screen and basically this is our gateway to installing whatever we want on the Wii And with the SD back into the PC, just go ahead and delete all the files on the SD card. We don't need them anymore. We have the Homebrew channel installed. And we need to install two pieces of software. One of them is the game loader, which is called WeFlow. So go ahead and download it from this website. Just download the latest version. Um, it was 4.2.1 when I did this video. So just go ahead, as I said, and download the latest video, um, software. And extract all the contents to your fresh sd card just right click and extract um, it will get the structure right it should look something like this and we move forward to the next um, piece of software which is the um, custom uh, ios installer which is needed by the game loader to operate um, again the link is in the description just go ahead and download the version for the wii not the wii u after it downloads again just right click ext um, extract everything to the sd card it will have the right kind of uh, structure it won't overwrite anything and go ahead and put it back into our wii back on the wii um to see the programs that we have basically installed so go ahead and start the homebrew channel and basically any uh, uh uh, files or directories in the apps folder um it's they are basically apps in the homebrew channel so we had two we flow and the t um, d2x um installer so you can see them right now um of course um you can start any of them by clicking on it and load let's try and load the we flow now just to make sure it's working a piece of info um it does take time to load so the we flow requires maybe like 30 to 40 seconds before you even see the logo so don't panic it's not ruined or anything it's just reading from the sd card and you know i don't know if i mentioned this before or not um reading the sd card is pretty slow on the wii anyways after it loads which should be around any time now you can see this um, of course we don't have any games so that's why it's gonna tell us to select the partition anyway just close it and go back to the main menu um, and um, let's start the homebrew again channel to install the custom ios's the, the t2x cios installer just go ahead and load it up um, whenever it loads with the disclaimer just go ahead and press um, any button to continue on the Nintendo controller or Nintendo remote and this is an important part for here we just um, we need to make sure that you get the settings right so for the um, CIOS just install the latest that's available um, and one thing is that you need to make sure that you have version 10 beta 53 or 52 and if you don't see this um, and I had a lot of issues with that um, it's actually two things it's either that you don't have an internet connection on the console or the other thing is that um, the SD card has the lock enabled so basically you can't write to it this program can't write to it and I know um, this sounds silly but if the lock is enabled on your SD card this will not show up um, the version 10 you only have like version 6, 5, 6 or 4, 5, 6 so um, just make sure that you have that the next the rest is basically um, after you selected that you need to set the base to 56 the slot to 249 you can do this with the arrows on your arm um, remote and the revision to the highest number which is 65535 press a to continue you'll see this screen which is basically shows you a map of the installed uh, custom ios's we don't care about that just press a to install and it'll start installing it will take some time uh, because it's downloading from the internet and depending on your internet connection 
and when installing the title when it finishes you'll see this and if you have a green around the number 249 then it, it succeeded so this is the first custom ios kind of piece we installed we need to go back again and install the second base which is base 75 with on slot 250 the same thing this is the um, setup just make sure you have it right click a click a again to install it i'm not going to show you the whole process again just go through the process and make sure that's a successful installation um, again you should see it as a success on 250 so now we have 249 and 250 and that's it so now Installing games is actually pretty easy. Just um, go to your um, SD card and um, don't format it this time. We need the apps to be there, the Wii Flow. The D2X installer, you don't need it, but it doesn't take a lot of space. You just keep it. Um, so go ahead and create a folder called WBFS on the root of the SD card and copy your game pack backups into that folder. Um, and guys, please don't ask how to get game copies. You should only put games that you have the original copies of or you own them. Um, uh, you know, games don't get produced or published for free or by themselves. Um, the developers, you know, need their earnings. So please um, just keep that in mind. And with the SD card in the Wii, let's go ahead and test the game. So go ahead to the homebrew channel, start Wii Flu. And again, it will be slow, don't worry. Um, so you'll see this, basically you don't have any covers, but it knows the name of the game at least. Um, to fix that, just go to the settings. Um, for me, it's a little bit hard because I'm recording. But anyways, go to the settings and download covers and titles, of course. Go for all or missing. It's up to you. For me, it's the same because only I have one game there. Um, it will download several images and I think some clips of the game. Like a, It's like a small package it needs. After that, you'll see this. Go ahead and click any, one, any of the games and shoot the play. Again, we flow is a little bit slow, so don't panic. For us, it crashed. I want to keep this because I want you to see how I solved it, the things that I faced during solving it, because you might face it and it might help you. So um, one of the things I tried is to install the base 58 on slot 251 because I've read somewhere that it basically it's needed. So I went ahead and tried to install it. But when I tried to install it, I got... Um, this error which is basically a network error um, so if you face this kind of error I tried also like to restart it but it kept on failing so what I did is basically I went back to the internet settings make sure that we're connected to the internet and did the internet connection test and whenever it succeeded I went um, back to the installation as I said I tried to install it this time it worked um, but um unfortunately also it didn't work the we flow also crashed after uh, trying to run it so what i tried next is to kind of um change the settings to um kind of force the we flow to um load a specific uh custom ios um on start so basically i forced those say us and i put 249 which wasn't a very smart things because um the whole thing crashed and basically it, it kept on crashing and to solve this you just need to go to the wii data management and save data you save like a save file for um wii flow just go ahead and delete it um for me i had to find this the hard way i, I deleted the whole ap application even formatted the sd card but didn't go i didn't know that it's it saves it as a file anyway so if you face this and you need to delete the saved settings just it's there next 
um, the next thing I tried to do is basically um, I looked around and you know um, I remember that reading that you should use beta 52 this, so this is the setting I'm trying to do um, of course it says in red because we have already a custom um, iOS installed on that slot but I wanted to try the beta 52 instead um, beta 53 because i remember i had luck you know that one worked with me before so basically i installed it on two um slot 249 then i uh, went back and installed the uh, base 55 on slot 250 again just make sure also you have the highest revision which is basically 65535 um, just to make sure that nothing overrides them and install them and finally since I've installed also base 58 I went ahead and installed the beta um, this beta the beta 52 on base 20, uh, 251 uh, uh, base 58 on slot 251 as you see and after the installation was done I went ahead and tested it again one more time loading we flow waiting all the time you know how slow we flow can get um, and lo and behold it worked so basically um, the whole issue was with using the kind of wrong beta for the custom iOS as I said I used um, the beta 52 before and it worked I never used beta 53 and I'm not sure if it's compatible with we flow um, but anyways, that was the problem. And I, as, as I said, I meant uh, to kind of keep the issues that we faced in the video. I could have edited it and just showed you, you know, just the way to do it. But I thought that, you know, normally, you know, people will face issues in the well where they're doing things. So at least if you face issues that are similar to those, now you know how to work around them. Um, Again, if you can't find the iOS's in the custom installer, this is like was a big headache for me. Just make sure that the lock uh, is disabled on the SD card and that you're connected to the internet. Anyways, now we have it running um, beautifully and I hope it will keep on running for years to come. So uh, guys, the, there's another thing that um, we can do, which is basically install kind of uh, shortcuts on the Wii main menu for the game loader itself and also for the game so you can just you know click on the game shortcut from the Wii menu you don't have to go to the homebrew channel load Wii flow and load the game it will still be kind of slow but at least you don't have to do all those steps so if you're interested in that just put that in the comments and I will hope and you know, hopefully do a video on that other things also that you can do similar things but to load games from the USB um, hard drive um, the bad thing is that you'll have things protruding out of your Wii which is which is something that I don't like uh, but on the other hand is much faster than loading games from the uh, SD card so also if you're interested in that it's a very similar process but with different programs so if you're interested in that just also leave a comment and maybe I'll, I'll do that uh, so that's it for now um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's helpful and see you soon.